Here we're taking game specific movements like a pump fake, a chest pass and an overhead press and adding resistance at the wrist to produce power and muscular endurance through their shoulder. This is a great drill we do to practice finishing through contact. Here we're applying resistance both at the hips and the wrist to produce total body power in a game specific movement. Here we're combining two movements of a pump fake and a jump and finish very specific to a move done in an actual game. Here we're using the Vertimax to work on speed, reaction, and a defensive closeout. The athletes close out and sprint to the cone that I point or direct to. It's a very physical game. We're working on a rip through with resistance at the wrist, making sure we can rip through through contact. In this drill, we have resistance on both sides of the hips working on lateral quickness and efficiency. Here we're doing the exact same drill but using a heavy med ball slash trainer ball for the offense. Again, the defense is staying in front of his man the entire time working on lateral quickness. Here's a good small competition taking the same defensive movement. Now we're using resistance bands to achieve the same outcome, working on reaction, sprint speed, and closeouts in defensive stance. This is a great rebounding drill we do with our bigs, working on jumping to the basket. The bands are pulling him backwards. The athlete is forced to jump to the basket and to the rim, grabbing the ball with both hands each rep. This is a great power exercise for our bigs. We're doing a drop step dunk. Now the band is pulling him backwards. He has to produce a greater amount of force and power through his lower body to explode to the basket. Here we're using our heavy trainer med ball. We're working on first two-step explosion past your defender with a jab step, give him a quick shake and explode past his hips. <laughs> 